I quit. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Um, so we got <laughs> the Rulian Steam here in the Grand Finals. We got a Jackal. We got a Penguin. I love how many animals are in Smash. Yeah, they're, they're starting off with the, the pretty standard between these top players, the standard gentlemen's in the first stage, rather than doing rock, paper, scissors start. Right. So. Just go into Pokemon yeah. Stadium 2. Yep, call it even, and let's go. But yeah, we got a... Uh, Exactly what we've been seeing from them all day. Uh, yeah. Lucario and DDD. Yeah, and this is a lot of aerial attacks are going to be thrown out here. Not a lot of these characters live on the ground. Yeah. Hey, Juice, they held the fucking set. Yeah. Weirdly enough, you know, Penguin not living on the ground. Yeah, Penguin <laughs> likes to float. They do. They When they uh, swim, they look like bats. You know, the, you, know, you know the really sad thing about penguins? They always, like, shove the first penguin off to see if the water's safe. <laughs> it's like a 50-50. I, too, have watched stupid videos. It's kind of like, like a tech chase, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see the Aura Sphere into the Gordo. Got Rocco the dog in the chat rooting for Lerulean here. Yeah, and you just see Steam just sitting back and just playing with this Aura Sphere. Not really trying to commit, not really having to. DDD has to really jump around to get anywhere close to Lucario. Yeah, it, God, the grabs keep coming out. Steam has been on point with his both his grab and his command grab all day. Yeah. He just waits out that one. The up smash going to be shielded. Well done there by Lurulian. Oh, the counter, though. So fast. You know what? That's the third thing he's been on point with all day. Counters and then his grab and command grab. I, I don't think I've seen him pull more than one or two of those that have been punished at all. Right. We're just seeing, again, these aerial string. You see the way Steam plays. He's playing a lot of defense because what can King DDD do that's quick to really close the gap? Not a lot. Yeah. Especially that's not going to be punished against a character who has, one, a counter, and two, a projectile. Right. And the more you hit... Uh, Lucario, the more damage he might start doing. Yeah, and at 123 right now, he's only got 18 damage on Lurulian, but if he hits one or two, that's going to rise very, very quickly. Sends the Gordo back, so that's not his own damage. <laughs> but that one will land in all of a sudden 39%. <laughs> Lurulian can't find the kill on Steam right now. Wow, trying to really play with these Gordo reads with the Aura Sphere. It's, again, Lurulian has to really commit, but that back air should do yeah, it. Yeah, really nice back air. He makes the quick adjustment, takes care of business. Down to two stocks apiece, but 60% carried over here by Lerulean right now. Right, and slowly, slowly growing. Again, Lerulean can do a lot of quick damage. ZDD's hits are very large. The hitboxes are large. Do a lot of, ton of damage. Yeah, I mean, if you ever have bad enough placement that you're able to give a hard read to DDD, you're looking at a smash attack or a charge down B that could just absolutely kill you. So it can get really rough at times. All right. Just updating the bracket for all those still <laughs> watching, still seeing it. Real time updates. Oh, wow. Gordo play again. Gordo reflected back, not getting inhaled there. That was a little surprising. I thought he was in that zone. Um, this should kill? Oh, no, it wasn't a command grab. Yeah. All right, we're going to see. Steam just edging out these edge guards by Lerulean. We got a window scraping right now. Yeah, I think it's somebody making like an elephant noise at them. <laughs> oh, and okay, Lerulean's doing a great job of not dying. Yeah. Well, now, now to turn that around and do a good job of killing. Right. <laughs> we got to see someone, someone make a move here. Oh, was going for that counter. Yeah, and Lerulean showing the patience not going in for the neutral error, which would have been countered and resulted in his death. Right. Oh, that Aura Sphere, though, right in the face, he, and that's going to do it. He uh, accidentally inhaled his Gordo and was not able to get it out fast enough to counter against that Aura Sphere. But again, Steam just not having to approach. Oh, Interesting some, Gordo play. Yeah, once again, Gordo making some weird bounces, but that's something that can be absolutely on your side or absolutely against you as DDD. You know that risk going in. We're nice seeing Steam just continue these combos and not... Ooh. The timing was a little bit too early slash too late from Steam there. A little earlier, you stopped the Gordo from even coming out. A little bit later, you reflect the Gordo. He was in that moment where DDD was actually striking the Gordo, so you cannot affect it. 
but we're seeing the Gordo start landing, but Lucario is at 158. Yeah, he, can, he can do a lot of damage. He's a dangerous boy right now. Command grab, and you're probably gone here at 90%, regardless if it's cross stage or not. Morris Field not going to land. Yeah, no, I want to see a little bit more... I don't know. I want to see a little bit more approaches. I feel like this game is going the way it is because Lerulean is just Gordoing. I'm not sure if it's the best option, but I can't really say what other options he has right now. Oh, uh, the Gordo reflected goes over Lerulean's head. I'm expecting a counter out of here, honestly. Yeah, I mean. Oh, then he's able to get just a normal grab. Spit out. Or his spear is blocked there by the fair. It just tucks in underneath DDD there. Yeah. Wow. Really showing his command of being able to recover, to escape options that are dangerous to him. At this point, he, he's running away from the DDD, but he's playing it perfectly. Like what, uh, We're getting down to 10 seconds here. If Lerulean doesn't get a kill in another, it's over. Steam knows the timer on this, and then he gets the kill, but 5, 4. <laughs> Steam sets it down, and that's going to be the game. Game 1 going the way of Steam on that. Yep. Fairly anticlimactic, but... Let's see what they do. Oh, no, Lerulean wants none of that. He goes, let's go, game two. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think I want to see I want to see a character switch from Lerulean almost. I don't think that DDD has enough. I think all he's got in his back pocket is Pokemon Trainer. It's not that big. I, I don't think I've ever really seen him heavily play into something else. Yeah, but I just, I don't know if DDD can approach the Lucario in a way that is meaningful, in a way that is going to lend him in favorable position. He's definitely having a hard time, that's for sure. Then Steam was just able to wait it out, or a sphere away. Alright, so we got game two of this game five in grand final. We got Steam versus Lerulean. So Lerulean trying to get up into the attack first. Inhaling an aura sphere, but not really getting anything with it. Getting a grab, getting some <laughs> some strings together, but here comes Steam, right back with it. Ooh, good spot dodge. Wow, the B reversals from Steam on point right now. You got to remember that you can float through this stage. And Steam just again, kind of avoiding as much as possible. Whatever option DDD has. You know, it's interesting to think which character uh, of these two actually benefits more from being able to recover through the stage. Right. Because both of them have great recoveries that you can find through. I would lean towards DDD, honestly, just because he also has damage on the landing of his that's massive. Lucario's does as well, but you actually have to hit the platform rather than fall onto it. And right. DDD always falls onto it. So... And there we go. He's able to do that as well, of course. So, I, I, yeah, I'm going to lean towards DD. He has the advantage from that. But he got he, caught by an Aura Sphere. Yeah, hard read from Steam there on that. Yeah. He's going to show he can do it. Too. Oh, oh! He was watching the background. He knows the ship's coming. Yeah, that just goes back to Brawl again. One of my favorite stages. Halberd, just knowing the timing of this. Wow, the spot dodge. Damn, look at this combo. Oh that my. That string is disgusting. It gets off to the side, and that's wow. a kill. Put that one on his reel, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a great amount of tech chases, and just look effortless. Makes me want to go home and play Lucario and Ness. <laughs> but I got too much mom spaghetti, so I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Wow. You're not, your carbo loading doesn't help? No. <laughs> oh, but finally inhaled the Aura Sphere yeah. and shot it back. Took that one to the face, but I mean, Steam's already at a full stock lead yeah. in game two here. Uh, but it does get him, uh, get him out of his Aura, so this is going to be a little bit tougher to kill now. It, it is. Uh, having that lead's definitely going to be helpful, because I mean, he's at zero percent himself, but, so for Lurulian to get him out, he's going to have to bring him up to damage, and at that point, he's in danger himself. And also, being at low aura means you have less knockback. It's going to make it easier for Steam to string a lot of these together. Wow. The command and the patience of Steam right now really has a lot to show you how long he's been playing with this character. Oh, Ooh. the counter on the Gordo just shielded. Really nice choice, though. I like that adjustment. We haven't seen him do that yet. Right, and it definitely he's trying to catch the Lerulean off guard. Or a sphere high enough, Lerulean jumping out of his own shield takes that one on the base. Grab's gonna be coming any moment now, I feel like. He's, right. playing, he's 
playing close a lot. Oh, never mind. He's just going to kick the Gordo back. Doesn't take care no. of King Diddy, though. Really play. good DI there. Wow, great recovery. Yep, really well played by Leroy. He tucks that one back to the ledge rather than uh, getting hit by the up smash. Wow, Le both of them going so low <laughs> to try and get after each other. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Steam definitely goes with the avoidance low. Lerulean tries to follow, Steam shoots back. Oh, he goes Ooh, for the counter. Just off missed again. the timing. I haven't seen that side special in a hot minute, and there it is. That's the kill. Steam gonna take the game 2 0. So I wonder where Lerulean goes now. <laughs> where does Lerulean go? I think he almost goes to Wily. I think he might go to Wily. Here he goes. Oh, he just castle! Yeah. He brings the fun to the main stage in the grand final. Peach's castle, the 64 throwback. I love it. <laughs> oh, uh, can't okay, stand on you. You got you got stand behind those two. Yeah, yeah. It's up there. Genghis Khan. Yeah, he's showing off that Genghis Khan lo logo in the background. <laughs> Get it off, guys. So, check, out, check out Genghis Khan if you like tabletop gaming for sure. It's in February coming up. February 13th. But so we're seeing Steam just again keep these combo strings going. But this is a this is definitely a more silly stage. <laughs> There's a lot of interactions that are gonna happen with these platforms that look like Lego blocks. Really, yeah. really 90s themed here. <laughs> I mean, it, so it's gonna break up the Gordo a lot. It's gonna be hard to, you know, understand where that's gonna go. Right. Uh, it also makes it a lot easier to recover because it is hard to, to like straight up edge guard on this stage. Yes. Uh, the other thing about it is Aura Spears. He has multiple levels to throw those at, so he can cover more space. So I actually think it's an advantage to that. Right now, we also got this really sensual jazz Legend of Zelda <laughs> song going. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, the, the one thing everybody knows about this stage, though, you get a nasty forward smash that sends you off the bottom of one of those blocks. If you do not tech it, you will regret that. Yes. So you have to be on your tech game. Oh, yeah. And I think Lerulean is hoping for a few of those here to uh, help take care of Steam's insane recovery so far this match. Oh, wow, there's so much, so little space and so much is happening. Yeah, it, that, that ledge is so much fun. Honestly, that's one of the reasons I love having this stage in our queue is because you end up with a lot of close quarters combat. And there he goes there's... off the top. He didn't tech it, but he's going to have the recovery. Just going cross stage is what kept him alive there, but he does go out off of that down there. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of things that can happen on this stage. A lot of weird interactions, especially with the little ledge. Things... Oh, gets the double Gordo hit there. I was almost expecting that target to be there to bounce you back, but it's You see not. a lot more close quarters on this stage than you do so many others, partly because of what you just saw there, where if you're on the lower platform and somebody's trying to camp from above, unless they have a few specific moves that, you know, drop down, you're not going to get anyone. So it then forces that closer combat over and over. Oh! oh! Perfect tech off of the Lego block. Wow. And that it's definitely would have been a kill. That Gordo just slides down, but it bounces back up into steam. Nice Ooh, back air. He tried to tech it. It was untechable. That yeah. was a red flash. So, Laruli bring down to two stock here. But and not at a favorable percentage at 120. Yeah, this is his tournament game right now. So he needs to get some more going in his favor. Nice Ooh, te tech off of that block. They got one apiece. Nice tech there as well from Steam on the underside. So we're really that would have been very dangerous. That was a counter. And it sent Steam way off the stage. Ooh. The neutral air is coming out, only able to get the one though, not able to string that. That's 168. Gordo got dangerous. stuck in the block. Yeah, that one's not going to defend you on the way back there. Alright. Gordo into the shield grab. Able to tech down as well. Oh, he's oh. getting trapped against the wall with the aura sphere. He's got a grin on his face. He knows that it sucks, but it's also kind of awesome. Yeah. Just again, watching these two play on this stage. You can just see a lot of the intricacies and how well you can adapt super quick. Uh, this is why I would love to see more really, really high-level tournaments be played on stages like that, on the, you know, like this, because you see things 
interactions, ways of playing around this, uh, each other that you never get to see otherwise. Because it's always like fat, flat ground. Yeah. And, oh, four platforms. Three platforms, and that's or it. Or Pokemon Stadium 2, four times in a row. <laughs> yeah, for real. No, there's Kalos Leak now. Yeah, Kalos is always there. Like, how many times am I going to have to watch a Fox player go to Kalos? Oh, no, he did get the tech on that one. He's going to survive. Oh, oh! no! Miss. Rounded and out, steam down to final stock here. The ruling has got a breath of life for him. Right, and this aura has reset, so we got to see steam really work for this kill. And we see the ruling starting to string together some stuff. We're seeing tons of life. Okay, just inhale. Oh, the command grab not gonna be able to check that yeah, one you either. Gotta, you got to get this timing down. Is this that throw? No, it's not gonna be enough here. Aura's gonna get him up higher. So now, the now command I... grab facing the wrong way on that one. He expected the roll, and really did not give it to him. <laughs> that right, just go and guard that corner. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't check the aura sphere, and that'll do it. Steam takes it, 3-0 in the grand final. What an incredible showing from the...